Hi guys, this is Chris for Kazumi Team Productions, and today this is a tutorial how to export your cartoons into a video. So let's actually begin with a new document. Control N for starters. So before we start on animating our scene here, we're going to set up the project settings by going over to file menu project settings selecting 720p and then down here where it says frame rate we're going to go into entering 24 and then underneath the uh, end frame we're going to push in 48 this will actually tell the computer uh, what we need to re render out our video with. And with this stuff, all this other stuff, you don't have to worry about it. So click OK. Now we're all done with the setup for our animation. So we're going to come over here and select Test Ball. Is there a project file name? Save the document. Now we're going to create some vectors. So on vector 1, I'm going to create the sky here. Sky, sorry. We're going to select a nice blue color. Select the rectangle. Click and drag over the canvas. Now we're going to create the ground. Now we're going to select a, a different color here. And a shade of green should do it. Click and drag across the canvas. Now we're going to call this last vector our ball. Oops. There we go. Press OK. So now we're going to select a bright red and select the oval shape. Come over here to the canvas. Click and drag with the shift button held down on the keyboard to create this shape. We're going to now position the uh, ball above the origin point. Okay. And now we can start on animating this scene. Well, before I do that, I want to see how the scene will look before I render out this video. So in order to do that, come over here to File Menu, Preview, and now we'll actually preview this frame for me, which looks pretty awesome. And then now we have some options down here. We can actually save this for entire frame as a PNG, JPEG, a boat map, or a Tegra to work in other applications. So that's pretty awesome. So right now, uh, for the, this demonstration purposes, I don't need to see that right now. And we can I guess I can go ahead and start animating my scene now. So just real fast. Can you make the ball bounce? Which is pretty awesome. But um, select the two from the right I click. Select cycle. Select two. 
Now we're gonna drop down the ball, squish the ball, squish it out. And go back a couple frames and then reset the uh, scale and then right before it hits the ground I'm going to reset the scale again so now we should have to best looks something like this which looks pretty awesome now let's go ahead and render out our movie now so in order to do that is to come over here to file menu export animation and now if you see that we should have some options so the first thing is that it says test wall star frame 1248 that's what we want and now this is a comp compression output so what I usually do is, is try to keep it um, at this mp4 and the quality is 90% that's what I want to see. And now this render options. Well, you can just leave that up right now. We don't have to worry about it. And now for the, uh, now for where the document is gonna go, we can select it under destination call this bouncing ball and now when I press ok we should have another window popping up excuse me so now we should be able to see our video that we just made That looks awesome, and that's how you get your uh, stuff to render out. And today's tutorial was suggested to me by Ryder Goku. His information is down in the description below. So, thank you guys for watching this. Please like, comment, and share my stuff. See you next time. Bye. For animation and animation tutorials, please click here and subscribe.